Hello everyone, Roy Kirkhoff here. Today I'm going to color my photo that I shot underneath the pier in Oceanside. And because of all the reflections and the shadows that happened in here, I call this piece Oceanside Shadows. I'm going to color with my Marshall Photo Oils. And I'm only going to use three colors. This is one of them. This is Burnt Sienna. Sky blue, and it's hard to see on this one, background aqua. Now this is only a five by seven, it's pretty small, so I'm going to use probably a lot of, of my Q-tips, and especially in the, the sand, the wet sand, I'm probably going to use, um, let's see, most likely actually looking at it, it's a pretty big surface still, uh, cotton rounds. These oils are slightly toxic, um, so I'm always using gloves when I hand color. I don't want to get these oils on my fingers, on my hands. So here we go. Let's start with the largest surface, which is the ground, the sand. So I'm going to Put a little bit of burnt sienna on my palette here. Then I'll take cotton round, pick a little bit up, and I'm going to rub that onto the sand. probably want to have some kind of transition here where we go into the ocean so I want more of this burnt sienna in the foreground less in the back I will probably remove this right here you can also use cotton rounds and q-tips to remove paint this is a chemically developed photo on a resin coated matte photo paper so it rubs off very easily. Here, a little bit on the sides here. I also like how the sun was reflecting right here next to this uh, pillar. Actually, it's not a coincidence because I composed the photo like this when I was there. I wanted to make sure the sun was in that spot. Still add a little bit more to the foreground here. Also, kind of like removing brush strokes, if you can call them that, by like gently removing it with the cotton round. So, as you can see, I didn't go over the the sunspot right there. So now let's add some sky blue to the sky. Don't need very much. You don't need much of these paints at all. Um, as you can see I already used too much burnt sienna here. Um, some of these tubes go for years and you can see here that this tube is like, uh, like a four inch long tube and they also come in the two inch version. Some colors I use more than others. So I have a lot of the sky blue and the burnt sienna because those are the colors I use most. 
So let's take a clean cotton round now. And we're going to add the blue. Picking it up. Again, gently rubbing it onto the photo. Sometimes I do this one as a sunset, adding some reds and yellows, orange to the sky. You can also see it going over the clouds, which is fine. I'm going to fix that later with Q-tip. Okay, looking good. Th this contrast between warm and cool always looks good, I think. Okay, let's take Q-tip and remove some of that paint in the clouds here. You can see it rubs off very easily. See, this is still a pretty big surface. I was thinking of adding the aquamarine here with um, Q-tip, but I'm going to do it also with cotton round. So this is aquamarine. Trying to take a little less. Picking it up. And there we go. So this was a long exposure and you can see in the back here where it's all white there's actually breaking waves and I think I'm gonna leave that untouched so I'm not gonna color those and in fact you can see here and here I added some color to them but I'll remove that too with a q-tip. At the same time removing some of this burnt sienna here and adding aquamarine. You don't want this too intense. Of course if you want that that's fine. Okay let's take a clean q-tip and remove some of that paint where these waves were breaking. And the last thing I can do, I'm going to add some of that burnt sienna to these poles here, the pillars of the pier. for that one. And I may be in the back here a little bit. Of course
but it's not going on the water. And then when I was holding it down here, some of the paint removed down here. So I'm going to add that back in. I'm doing it with a Q-tip now. Last thing I noticed is a little bit, you can see this is not quite uniform here, so I'm removing or smoothing out a little bit of that aquamarine here with a clean cotton round. And now I went slightly over the line here, so I'm going to pick up a clean Q-tip, remove this. And then with the other side, you pick up just a little tiny bit of aquamarine. See if that's enough. And add that back in. Just dabbing it on. So it's all done. This was a fast one. Here's the final result. So I'm probably going to frame it in a simple 5x7 bond width frame. We'll see. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of my work, I also work on with pastels and acrylics, please subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.